Thank you for taking some time to view the website integration video for Service Technologies. Today, we will look at the process of embedding service into your existing website. Please feel free to share this video with whomever will be helping to integrate service into your site. To begin, you will want to pull up our article that discusses integration options. You can find the article titled Integrating Service into Your Existing Website by clicking on the Service Customer Support Tool link under the System Management heading from your main dashboard. If you are not an administrator on a service account, you can go directly to support.servicetech.com. This will take you to our Customer Support Tool, which contains many different articles. Once there, search for Integrating Service into your existing website and select it to view the contents. This article covers the specific instructions regarding embedding service into your website. There are three different sets of options. The first option is HTML iframe integration, which is what we will be covering today. This is the preferred method that allows your volunteers to register for opportunities without ever leaving your website. The other two options are for external links to the standalone console, which allows you to link out to service directly when you are not able to embed it within your website. Embedding service requires access to edit the HTML of your site and the ability to include iframes. In each of the integration pages listed below, you will see two pieces of code, a JavaScript and the iframe itself. Both should be used in full for each integrated page. The JavaScript is used to automatically update the height of the iframe so that your volunteers will not see interior scroll bars. This can be copied and pasted directly into the body of the page or included in the header. The iframe itself is the service content that you will be embedding into your website. This needs to be in the body of the page located where you would like the iframe to appear. There's one piece of information that you will always need when embedding service, and that is your four-digit organization ID number. This number can be found by logging into your administrative dashboard and selecting Edit System Configuration under the System Management heading. It's the first line in the Organization Information section. Each iframe has several pieces of information to pay attention to. There is the source of the iframe, which is the specific page, for example, the event listing page or the volunteer direct application page. This source is where you will need to include your organization ID number. At the end of the URL, you will see the variable for your organization's ID number. Replace the four X's with your ID number. For example, in the case of the demonstration console, I would replace these X's with the number 3240. Also in each iframe, you can update the height and the width. The JavaScript we discussed previously will automatically update the height to match the amount of content on the page, so you do not need to change this value. The width, however, can be adjusted. This value is set in pixels and can be anywhere from 450 to 700 pixels. You should adjust this to fit the styling and size of your website. There's nothing else that you need to change in the iframe code. However, there are other values and styles that you can adjust. Please feel free to look into this on your own. The only page that is necessary to allow your volunteers to create profiles, register for events, and log into their accounts is the Service Event Registration page. Use all of this code and update the organization ID number. From this page, new and existing volunteers can view and register for any upcoming event which you have posted online publicly. When registering for an event, new volunteers will create a profile as a part of the process, while existing volunteers will be prompted to log in. There are many ways that you can update the formatting and styling within service. All of these options are found in the system configuration. To modify the content of the welcome message on any page, use the page content section. To modify any of the colors, logos, or the system-wide fonts or styling, use the system appearance section. There are many other specific pages that can be embedded and different workflows we support to help you best engage with your volunteers. To learn more about these options, please feel free to contact our customer support team by using the Submit a Request button at the top of the page, 
or by emailing support at servicetech.com.